What's up everybody, Stephen Williams with TheCreditRepairShop.com and in this video I'm going to talk about LexisNexis, the strategy that is being used and talked about all over the internet, all over YouTube, which is to opt out of your personal data being uh, accessed so you can have your public records files not be able to be accessed by the three major credit reporting agencies. This is a strategy that everybody in credit repair talks about um, because this is the theory behind it. LexisNexis, if you don't know uh, about that company or you haven't heard about them before, what they do is they capture all of the data information from all of the court records that are placed out there. And from those court records, they um, put all that data into a database and they allow companies and the credit reporting agencies to access that data and obviously they sell it they have memberships where a company or the reporting agencies are members of LexisNexis and then they are able to access that data so they're actually in a data selling business they're they're not in the business of trying to make you look bad but when they collect all of this data on you and if you have certain public records or tax liens, you know, stuff like that that become public records, they're collecting all of that and they're making it easy for companies and the credit reporting agencies to access it to uh, put that information on your credit report. So when their clients, which are companies that are looking at to give you credit, look up your file, they can see your public records information. So the strategy that is being used uh, by a lot of people that you know credit repair companies is that what they tell you to do and is to get to have a, to put a freeze on your LexisNexis information and then when you're running uh, disputing the information on your credit reports they're not able to get that data and uh, because according to the Fair Credit Reporting Act they have to disclose how they're getting the data and if they're not able to access the data then the uh, you know the logical thing is that they're not a, they're not going to be able to get the information to uh, continue keeping it on your credit reports let me tell you the uh, the real deal on it because I'm here to give you the real deal you know these are just techniques that a lot of you know things that quick fixes and you know stuff that people try to come up with to get you to do things that like it's like going into a rabbit hole rather than having that straight arrow where this is what you need to do to have this information uh, taken off of your credit reports the right way and I'm all about doing it the right way if you have a public records on your credit report the simplest and easiest way to get that information off is to dispute it based on the way that the information is placed on your credit report. Everybody tries to get you to do all these database searches, this and that, you know, all of these different uh, ways to get it to get it off of there. When the right way to get it off of there is to look at the information and to first see if it's past the the uh, the uh, statutes which for uh, chapter seven is 10 years can be on your report and don't get scared because I'm going to tell you how to get one that's off your report that's not at 10 years and uh, chapter 13 bankruptcy which is seven years on your uh, credit reports now let me tell you calm down calm down let me tell you how you get those off of there is that you're not going to be disputing that you didn't file a chapter 13 or a chapter 7. That would, in a way, be outright illegal to do that, because, especially because you went a step further and signed uh, for the chapter 13 or chapter 7 in court. So it would be stupid to challenge it that way. The way that you challenge that uh, a, a bankruptcy is the way that it is shown on your reports. Uh, I have access to something that's called PACER, and this is where all of the public records directly from the court, this is actually where, where 
uh, LexisNexis gets their information, they get it from Pacer. Pacer is where all of the attorneys go and get their information, and they can see that uh, the uh, public records history on there. If you've ever uh, been sent information where you had a judgment or something on you, Pacer is actually selling that information to attorneys and other companies to solicit you. But on Pacer, uh, it it will uh, it shows exactly how your bankruptcy needs to be placed on your credit reports and the way that it's supposed to be placed on on uh, LexisNexis. But we see that what companies are doing, or maybe there was a lazy person that was in putting the information, or when the information was being transmitted, it something went wrong with it, and there's a technical violation based upon the Fair Credit Reporting Act of the way that your bankruptcy is being shown on your credit reports. It could be very simple where they don't put the date. They don't. The dates are not matching on all three reports. The uh, the case number is not complete on there. A whole bunch of things that, that you can challenge just based mm -hmm. on the mm -hmm. facts of, of how it's being placed on your credit reports. And this is the way that my company does it and this is the way that you should do it instead of looking at these quick fixes. But uh, I'm gonna post a link below this video so you can go and read it for yourself the way that LexisNexis tells you uh, they call it a suppression policy um, and the rules on suppression. So you can see that these quick fixes do not work. So uh, I'm going to post the link below this video and then you'll be able to take a look at it and see that this is just another rabbit hole that people send people through. Uh, it might work on some people, but if you're looking at doing things on a huge level, which we have thousands of customers, not just posting some YouTube videos and dealing with one or two people, you have to have something that is substantial that can have, uh, that can work for lots of people. And if certain things are not able to work, you have to have real uh, responses to them or they're gonna be unhappy. And you have to tell them the truth about why it didn't work for them and why it maybe worked for someone else. So I'm going to post that below this video so you can see the actual rule rule with suppression your uh, information opting out on LexisNexis and uh, and then you will see it for yourself so you don't even have to take my word for it. So now let's uh, close out by uh, doing some thinking about positive uh, thinking, getting yourself in the mindset of being positive. If you're facing uh, public records information, start thinking of positive outcomes positive uh uh positive uh options all of that don't just look at what you're facing look at the positive outcome of what's going to happen when you're done dealing with that with that uh uh that uh uh um lost my train of thought dealing with that negative uh information on your credit report in your pu public negative public records information on your credit report so that's where you need to start thinking is the positive side and then the negative stuff will just start to melt away and go away and you, all the different options will come available and i just talked about some of the options in this video of how you can deal with public records information uh, if you need help, visit our website, thecreditrepairshop.com. If you need your credit reports and scores, and that's where it's going to have, that's where everything is going to start. You're going to see your public records information on your credit reports. Go to that link below here, your three, the number three scores.com. Get those credit reports and, um, and, and look at what's on there. Look at how it's showing on there, and you'll see that there's, there's probably, it's showing on each of those credit bureaus three different ways and that'll be your first in on getting it removed off of your credit reports and getting it removed forever off of your credit reports. Uh, subscribe to my channel, share it, tell people about it. This is real deal information. It's not going to be the same as it was before with, with dealing with your credit. You're going to resolve it and be able to move forward in your life. Uh, and again, thank you. And I look forward to making more videos for you. Have a great day.